we got the, I, you thought that the romantic subplot was going to take over. It was going to really become the force of the movie or what the movie's about. And she was very happy that it didn't become that way, that you didn't move in that direction. Well, it happens very late on anyway. And the very last thing that happens in the film suggests that it may well take over in some way, uh, just in real life terms. But, you know, the important thing is that apart from anything else, this is uh, a film about a central character, a woman who is independent and healthily so, and isn't, I mean, there are, in various ways, we discuss the fact that she's not too easily or readily going to buy into the done thing um, in terms of, you know, uh, domestic things or anything else. But she's, that doesn't mean to say that, I mean, if this is only, would be my uh, um, ponderings, if she got it together with Tim, you could imagine that they would do it rather well, actually. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's, it, it's, a, it's a subplot which doesn't take over, but it's certainly something that's entered her life in a possibly, potentially serious way. But the important thing is that we get it, we should have a strong sense that it's, she's not going to be compromised by it. Uh, absolutely. It's, um, what I love about it is the fact it is, it's just left and it's ambiguous and it's just something that hopefully that you'll go on to think about like you have and that, that's quite nice. I love those, I love films like that when there are questions sort of, you don't really know, it's not all tied up neatly and that's, yeah. I think in, in like Mike says, it's not something that... Um, you know that it's going to, it's, if it happens, great. And if it doesn't, well, great. also great. <laughs> in yes, another way. What was your strategy? And you said many dialogue scenes, you use single shots of the speakers or whatever. And what was your strategy? Oh, I for mean, that? you know, uh, um, a film, uh, I mean, the, 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 the tools are there to use in all kinds of different ways. And obviously, a film has to have texture. and. You know, one doesn't want to be affected in one's use of shots. I mean, so that, you know, sometimes it calls for all kinds of sh cuts and shots and, you know, um, going into close-ups and wide shots and all the rest of it. But I've always liked to, um, in some circumstances, to have, um, to allow the action to breathe, to allow the performers to breathe, and also to allow you the audience, uh, possibly subliminally, to be aware that there are no tricks. They really are being totally real and organic and spontaneous and uh, performing in this moment. And they're not bailed out by any tricks. Now, obviously, that's a, in a way a secondary consideration. But I meant some scenes just lend themselves um, by the, the sheer dynamics of what's going on to that kind of investigation. I mean, the, the most famous one, I suppose, uh, of mine is the scene in Secrets and Lies when the mother and the daughter meet for the first time in a cafe. And that um, is a scene that holds up in a two-shot for nearly the length of a roll of film. In fact, it's for eight and three-quarter minutes. Um, the, the one... Uh, in this film, as I think you're talking about, in early on in the, f the end of the first driving lesson, mm. with the two of them in the car. I mean, actually, one of the things about that is be it, because of allowing them to be together in the same shot, um, I mean, had we shot them in, for example, two reverse shots facing each other, um, there would have been a, a massive consideration about the lines not overlapping. But the, the humour and the gags come at you thick and fast. And by allowing Sally and Eddie Marsan to just be there in the relaxed way in this two-shot without us worrying about that, just allowed it to, to, free, to free flow, to free wheel. And that is appropriate to the... It liberates the performance. But it's also um, it's a way of expressing uh, the dynamics of what's going on. It, well, yeah, I mean, as an actor, it's um, so um, it's 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 so liberating because you are free and you you don't have to. Like Mike says, think about sort of um, 
the technicalities. Yeah, the technicalities or, or and overlapping someone or cutting someone off or you just, the rhythm can play out and you almost forget that the camera's there. And but, but, but I think, I mean, you say that, although in fact, I, I think you would say the same about all kinds of shots where there are reverses. It's just that, yeah. that, that for certain kinds of action... That and especially that, I mean, scenes like that, like you say, it's just, and I remember that particular scene, we didn't, yeah, we didn't, and the light was going. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, <I'll> shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm afraid that's all we have time for, because we do have to set up for the next show. Mike and Sally, thank, thank you so you much for the thank film. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming.